Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Sunday to you. I hope that your Sunday is going great. The engine light of check engine light of doom. And you kind of hate to see that thing come up on your dashboard because let's, let's face it, with computer controlled engines like this 2.4 liter by Fiat that's in this 2016 Dodge ram pro master city a it could be a thousand different things right and it's not like you're going to be able to figure out the programming or what's going on so the first step i went to the auto zone and i went ahead and borrowed their code checker and plugged it in and i came up with a code it's something to doodly do 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 on the thermostat wasn't operating uh properly and when he printed out the sheet, I read the top of the sheet, and it said ASE certified mechanics have reported this same problem to do with the thermostat, and it requires a TPS module uh, reprogramming, whatever, TCM, TPS, AT&T, whatever, whatever the hell, the control module inside of it. And like I said, you're you're talking about big bucks when you roll into a dealer to get this thing reprogrammed and checked out. So I was kind of discouraged last night, but on the advice of about three or four of my wonderful YouTube subscribers, they said, Rosie, here's what you want to try. If it looks like something that needs to be reprogrammed, let the uh, let the van reprogram it itself. And the way you want to do that is disconnect your battery, let it sit for three or four hours, and then reconnect your battery and try starting your uh, engine, fire on up and see what happens on the uh, dashboard. So we're going to check out and see if you guys are as much of geniuses as I think you are. I've just reconnected the uh, battery here. So we're going to go inside and check it out. We're going to see if we beat the dealer today with Little Rascal 2. Ooh, let's get inside and fire up. Before we do that, a pretty clean engine compartment. This is a pretty uh, kick-butt uh, engine here, this 2.4 liter, and it has served me very well. I've had minimum problems. I got this vehicle at 22,000 miles and up now, taking it up to, well, closing in on 80,000. Knock on, knock on metal, it's been pretty good. It's been a good performer for me. And it's plenty of horsepower to pull me pull me along here. Uh, just taking a look at it, it still looks pretty neat. It's got a sealed coolant system. You never had coolant for the life. I've had this thing down to one below zero before. Without any problem, I do check the oil regularly and take care of uh, brake fluid, power steering fluid, checking all that. So that's been pretty good let's go inside now let me grab my keys and see a little remnants of last night's uh, party there <laughs> party in the driveway let's fire up now and see if we uh see if we're clear here on this okay let's get the uh, let's get a good tight shot in here and uh, well lo and behold look at that our check engine light is now off maybe the vehicles uh, reprogrammed itself I'll be driving around over the next day or two to see if that uh, reoccurs but if it doesn't reoccur by Tuesday afternoon I'll call the dealer and say yuck, 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 yuck. guess what I'm not putting money in your pocket if it reappears well we're not going to have a lot of choice, but the, the check engine light is not on, and that is a beautiful thing. Okay, thanks a lot, uh, all you YouTubers that made that suggestion about disconnecting the battery, at least as it stands now. You are, you always are my hero. <laughs> you kept me out of the dealer's claws. I'm grateful for that. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see what happens over the next couple uh, days. As usual, thanks for being with me. And what a beautiful thing to see. Woo! Reprogram yourself. Thanks, everybody.